14 Most Amazing Small Islands to Get Away. But first, thanks to Kosh for leaving us this comment on our Historical Places Lucky to Exist video. We hope you guys enjoy learning about some small yet amazing islands. Number 14, Trogir, Croatia. While there are some mysterious and creepy islands out there, in many parts of the world it's still cold and we're thinking vacation. Let's try to go somewhere remote that not many people have heard of. This historic little island in the country of Croatia has a population of about 10,800 and is notable for its beautiful fortifications and castles. Around the 3rd century BC, this island was settled by Greek colonists and later became a major port in the Roman Empire. Many remarkable buildings from the 15th century still remain and it's a popular tourist destination especially for Europeans looking to escape the cold. Number 13, Mozambique Island. This little island is connected to the mainland of the country of Mozambique in eastern Africa, but only by a small bridge. The entire island is a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its rich history during the Age of Exploration. It's becoming a growing tourist attraction and was even visited by the Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama. It became the capital of the Portuguese East Africa and was an important location for explorers to trade and stock up on supplies. The little island is home to a Renaissance-style fort, a palace, an old abandoned hospital, and other historical stuff waiting to be explored. Number 12. Mecatitan, Mexico You can tell from an aerial vantage point on Google Maps that this little island looks pretty special. Located in a swampy little lake near the Pacific Ocean, this man-made island is home to some amazing fiestas, and they don't spare any space when it comes to building things. It's a little bit crowded here, but the seafood restaurants don't seem to disappoint anyone who visits. Feel free to rent a boat and cruise down the magical streams of the tropical rainforest nearby. Number 11. Bali, Indonesia Indonesia is certainly home to quite a few islands, but nowhere else seems to offer an exotic getaway quite like the island of Bali. This unbelievable paradise overlooks amazing views of the South Pacific and has fine white grain sands that feel just right between your toes. This place is home to some of the most luxurious resorts in the world and it's renowned for its arts as well. Combine all that with the ancient temples, the rice fields, and the occasional Komodo dragons on the island and you got yourself the perfect place to go. Number 10. Réunion this small island, located just east of Madagascar, is considered to be an overseas region of France and it receives just as much public funding as a province would on the mainland. The little volcanic island has the highest GDP in the Indian Ocean and is considered to be the most prosperous island in this region. The majority of the people here speak a dialect known as Réunion Creole, which is a little bit of a mix between French and the native language of the people who live here, but everyone knows French. There's many tropical beaches to choose from when coming here, as long as it's not receiving too much tropical rainfall. This must be a magical place to visit, and with a great mix of culture, history, and natural beauty. Number 9. Lindau, Germany Located near the border of Austria, surrounded by Lake Constance, there doesn't seem to be a bad time to visit Lindau, especially if you want to see a medieval town. This used to be home to a monastery and a nunnery during the 9th century AD. Archaeological discoveries, however, have proven that the Romans were here first, and they found remains of a 1st century settlement. The small island has a high tourist attraction per capita, and is renowned for the only lighthouse in Bavaria. Any snow that might fall here is welcome, and it only adds to the island's beauty. Number 8. Ile de Yeux If you're looking to see the Pacific Ocean while in Europe from an island, L'Ile de Yeux is one of your best options. Although it might not have a tropical climate, it still enjoys a rather warm average climate. La Page des Sapins is a beach right next to a beautiful fir and pine tree forest along with green meadows. The island was used extensively by the French Navy and by monks trying to escape the outside world. Here we see the Vieux Chateau along the coastline that protected many incoming ships. There's plenty of space to explore and it isn't quite as crowded as some other ones we've mentioned on this list. Number 7. Florianopolis, Brazil So if a little countryside beach by the forest isn't really your thing, go all out on Brazil's most populated island called Florianopolis. Unlike some places in Brazil, this island is known for its low crime rate, so you can feel safe while catching a taxi. With over 60 beaches, it's a huge hotspot for surfing as well as fishing. Expect a humid climate and also one of the hottest places when it's wintertime in the northern hemisphere. This is one of the most visited places in Brazil and it's also known for its many lagoons, waterfalls, historical sites, and nightlife. There's an abundance of sites to see all conveniently located on this one island. Number 6. Canary Islands This autonomous community of Spain is located in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Morocco. 
As a part of the European Union, this destination allows for a safe place to travel with a unique setting not found in Europe. They're home to a vast ecosystem, prehistoric fauna, a unique history, and miles upon miles of beautiful coastline. Made from volcanoes, these islands are surrounded by the deep blue seas of the Atlantic and an amazing climate year-round for swimming. The average climate in winter doesn't stray too far from the temperatures in summer, welcoming sunbathers each and every day. The remarkable geological structures make the Canary Islands a remarkable sight to behold, even far away from the picturesque towns. Number 5. Okinawa, Japan The Okinawa Island is a part of Japanese territory and is located halfway between Taiwan and the mainland of Honshu. Many might not first think of Japan as being home to some pristine tropical beaches, but the entire prefecture of Okinawa is quite perfect for history lovers, snorkelers, and swimmers. The water here reportedly never drops below 20 degrees Celsius and on average is about 30 degrees Celsius. The clear waters allow for premier snorkeling, which gives you a chance to witness up close this island's unbelievable wildlife. Don't forget to see the Shiri Castle, which has many traditional examples of Japanese architecture. Number 4. Pig Island a remote island called Big Major K in the Bahamas is where you'll find a one-of-a-kind pig island. While most pigs roll around in mud to keep cool, these pigs get to take a dip in the Caribbean Sea. It's believed that centuries ago, European settlers left the pigs on this island, meaning to come back and find them later on. However, some of them survived and are now roaming freely along the white sand beaches of the Bahamas. Doesn't sound like a bad lifestyle. People on yachts often stop by to take photos and leave them some leftover food. Number 3. Catalina Island if you need a place in the USA to escape to, the island of Catalina is located just 22 miles from Los Angeles, California. It was originally settled by Native Americans, but eventually it ended up in the hands of the Americans after the Spanish-American War. This island is very careful about pollution, so you won't find any cars or airports here. The only way to get to Catalina Island is by a ferry boat in Orange in Los Angeles County. Due to the proximity of Hollywood, it's a personal getaway of many movie stars. Number 2. Santorini one of the most popular islands to get away to in Europe is without a doubt Santorini. Tourists fall in love with the deep blue seas created from deep waters around this mysterious island. The pearl white buildings along the cliffside of the volcanic rocks are somewhat of a dangerous decision by the locals in case of an earthquake, but it certainly seems to be worth the risk. The sunsets on this island are unmatched and people from around the world come here to witness the architecture, the Mediterranean sun, and probably to eat a gyro. Number 1. Capri Another volcanic Mediterranean island, this getaway will give you the chance to live like a Roman god or goddess with the panoramic villas with amazing views of the natural rock arches that form here. This is also a great place to explore the mysterious grottos and caves that are found all around the island. Here we see the deep blue grotto that wasn't discovered until the 19th century and always seems to have a mysterious shade of blue to it. The natural beauty of this place off the west coast of Italy has not gone unnoticed by any means and can receive up to 10,000 tourists a day. This is a huge destination for both Italians and foreigners as a popular resort island. If you can afford a yacht, this would certainly be a great place to get one. So what do you guys think about this? Leave a comment below and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. And thanks for watching!